this is Joshua. Um, I want to demonstrate how we can compute for premiums using medical malpractice data set given in this research paper. So first of all, I got all the uh, all the data set from the research paper onto my Excel sheet from so all the way from annual rate for nurse. That's this values here down to the minimum premium. But there's something peculiar. I highlighted this red because it wasn't part of the data set, but for demonstration's sake, I just added that so that we can see how the minimum premium will play out. So the minimum premium is such that any value, any premium calculated lower than the minimum premium will be capped under minimum premium. So first, I would like to demonstrate that before we go to replicating the example given in the research paper. So let's say we have um, the specialty factor to be pediatrics and that we have a working a student worker so let's say this and then we have let's say the person is experienced as well so see the minimum premium actually is 100 but the calculated premium is about 47 dollars so it's capped at 100 dollars no premium can be lower than 100 dollars so I designed it such a way that to say the acceptable minimum premium is hundred dollars. Let's see if it is greater than that. Let's say the person is employed. Great. It's one forty six. So the total premium is one forty six dollars. So now let's move straight to replicating the example. The example. Let me bring it closer. So for the example given in the uh, in the research paper, we have person to be employed. Um, employed. Okay, I already have it here. Employed. And then the 0 0.8 is psychiatric. Okay, we have 0 0.8. And there's a part time worker, and, and the territory is 3. And the uh, claims, claims free discount, we don't have claims free discount, so that is in, not eligible. And then the person is capped at 25%. Um, so that this, this one. This variable is such that if the person is a continued, the, the, the worker is still going to school, he's less exposed to uh, the medical malpractice risk. So that is a, a debit on his account. But if the person is, is working and is at a workplace, that is a high risk factor. So that would be a credit on his or her uh, premium accounts. So here we have a cap at 25. So that is a risky one. It's a high procedure. And then the premium, the limit option is one million and one million and three million. So let's have that. And the you see the claims made maturity is uh, zero point two percent. We have already have that. And then the, the group, let's see the standard a standard reporting a standard reporting. We don't have that. So not applicable. Let's see the group. The group credit, the group credit is five percent. Good, so that's five percent. There we have, there we go. We have, we have been able to replicate the example given in the research paper to be two hundred eighty-two dollars. So that is the total. The total premium is two hundred and eighty-two dollars. Thank you all. Have a good day.